My name is the Just Reaper, and welcome back to another Minecraft World War II time tutorial. And today we are doing the legendary Tiger One. Now I'm not going to dwell on this too much because it is late, and I must record because I'm on a tight schedule. So um, anything, anyone that's watching this probably already knows what the Tiger One is, and probably knows the great legends that surround the Tiger One. But I'm not going to dwell on those too much right now. So we're going to begin right in the tutorial. So I've already started with the right side tracks. Normally I start with the left. I start with the right. It was just out of random. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our nether brick stair and our uh, spruce wood stair. And as you can see here, we're going to have the back of the nether brick facing out to the right side of the vehicle. So away from it. And the spruce is going to be facing inward. And we're just going to fill the two uh, spots that are, op that are open with bottom slabs of stone brick. Now we're just going to take our nether brick stairs. We're going to do four more. I mean three more of those. And then we're going to do three more spruce wood. And then we're going to fill all the empty gaps. And this is going to create the overlapping wheel design that is rather iconic among German tanks. Then we're going to do the rear track elevation. Right behind that, do two top slabs of stone brick. At the front, we're going to do the track elevation, same way we did it at the back. And then two top slabs of stone brick right in front of that. Now we're going to skip to the left three spaces and we're going to reverse the suspension layout. So four of each kind of road wheel, like that. Now we're just going to fill the open gaps with stone brick. Then at the back of the tracks, we're going to do our typical track elevation. Do it at the front, elevate them frame rate is dropping that's not good on the outside of the spruce wood stairs we're gonna put item frames and then in them put another brick block do that on the other side fill them just like that and now what we're going to do is I think right back here we're going to take our spruce wood top slabs and just do three of them right across and at the front uh, we're going to have Three, go, go, three going across right here. Now, as for what the floor will be made of, I'm thinking it's probably going to be stone brick, or stone slabs, and I'm correct. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our stone slabs, and we're going to fill the whole bottom of the tank with these stone slabs from the back all the way up to the front in this little space. And then, at the back of the tracks, right, I think it's only in the one space. No, it's in the two spaces. So, in here and here, we're going to do two top slab, or two top placed iron trap doors. Then we're going to take some wooden trap doors and do three top placed trap doors right there. And with that, we're done with layer one. So now that we're done with layer one, carrying on to layer two, we're going to start, uh, with, with our tracks. Now here's where we're going to do things a little bit uh, differently. Oh, I got a notification. I could have sworn that I had turned this thing on silent. Darn it. We're going to just uh, silence that. Um, we're going to do something that's a little bit different in track design than what we normally do. We're not going to do the inner layer of the tracks on this layer. We're going to only do the outer layer and it'll, you'll understand why because the tiger has an interior and to prevent too much of the interior from showing through, I blocked off the inner layer of tracks. You cannot do that if you don't want to, but I think it's personally better. So, what we're going to do is on the out layer of the tracks, we're just going to do a row of stone brick bottom slabs running all the way up until the very front road wheel. Then in front of it, we're going to elevate upward one. Then we're going to take our spruce wood, spruce wood logs do this, do this, this is going to make our, uh, if I remember correctly, I think the sprocket was up the front, um, so we're going to do that there, that's going to create the front sprocket wheel, then in front of it we're going to do stone brick stairs, and then we're going to mimic the tracks on the other side as well, 
just like that. And now that we've done that, actually, I think I have to just check one thing. All right, so this version's wrong uh, on the tracks. Um, on the other side, I had this one, this block elevated. It's supposed to only be elevated right here. Um, nope, didn't want to do that. But now that we're done, that what we're going to do <clears throat> is we're going to place a bunch of placeholders along the top right here, along the tops of the tracks. And why we're doing that, we're going to take our gray shulker boxes, which run from here all the way up to here, it seems. Um, and then, I guess we'll have to break out the bottom here in order to do this. We're going to do it from, it's right here. So right where the tracks end at the rear, on both sides. And we're going to run it all the way up to right before the log, the sprocket wheels. So do it just like this. Nope. Stop it. There we go. Then we're just going to fill this back up. Remove these placeholders because these are no longer important to our cause. And now at the front of the vehicle, we're going to need to take our cobblestone stairs. We're going to need some signs. We're going to need some light gray shulker boxes, some acacia wood. And now we'll just do upside down cobblestone stairs here and here with the backs facing to the sides. Curve it in the center. Do three blank signs right off the front. We're going to do an acacia wood block right here. And then off of it, we're going to place some light gray uh, shulker boxes. The acacia wood is only to make it look like there's zemrit. You don't have to do that. You can use, um, uh, you could use, uh, some, like, light gray concrete, but I don't prefer. So, what we're gonna do now is go to the, toward the rear of the vehicle, and we're going to make the rear fenders like this. So, using our cobblestone stairs, we're gonna place them like that. We're gonna need a cobblestone slab. Do a top slab here. One on this end. Now I'm going to have to do three acacia wood right across here. There's going to be a stone button right here. I'm going to do a stone slab here and here. And for now, what we'll do, we're going to take our scion terracotta, and we're just going to fill this hole. Uh, empty chassis. We'll break out what is necessary later in order for the interior. On the sides of the sprocket wheels at the front we're going to put a stone button, <clears throat> one on either end, and bus is left, and that's it. Alright, so that's all for layer two. So now we'll begin with layer three, and to start that, we're going to start at the front of the vehicle. So, firstly, grabbing our gray carpet. I'm going to do two carpet here, two over here. I'm going to grab our iron trap doors. Do two here, two right here. I'm going to grab a flower pot, which is going to sort of represent our headlight. Throw one right there. <coughs> going to take our cobblestone stairs. Put one here and one over here with the rears facing each other. I am going to need another gray shulker box. I'm going to need... Okay. <clears throat> I see everything. So, firstly, take our acacia wood. Do a row of five across. Do a placeholder here. <clears throat> and we're going to break this block here. Do an upside down stone brick stair here. And... We're going to put an upside down uh, shulker box right there. And right off the front, do a blank sign. And off the front of the upside down stone brick stair, we're going to do a end rod, and that's going to make our hull mounted MG. Before we carry on, we're going to take this side of the fenders, I guess. Skirts, track skirts, kind of, they're barely even track skirts. We're going to take it back four more blocks from where we started. And then we're going to do one bottom slab of cobblestone right behind it. And then we're going to skip two spaces. Going to grab a daylight sensor. Put one right here. 
turn it blue. Now regarding the other side, it's going to be a little bit similar. <clears throat> so, daylight sensor. Right there, change it. Cobblestone's there, put one right here. I think it's skip A space and then put another one. No, skip two spaces, put one and then skip three. Alright, so like that. And I think we're going to fill these two spaces with bottom slabs of cobblestone. Um, we're going to need some oak logs and a ladder to head over here. We're going to do three sideways oak logs right here and put a ladder right there. Which is going to be the beginning of the brace, which is supposed to be holding the log down. Then we're going to take our stone brick uh, stairs. I mean, not stone brick, uh, sandstone stairs, sand, and then a sandstone block, and we're going to need a sign. So, sandstone stair right here, sandstone block, put a blank sign right on that. We're going to need our iron trap doors, throw one here, throw one right here. And now is where things are going to get a little bit tricky. Um, so, how are we doing this, ladies and gentlemen? Um, this is going to be three toward the center. All right. So, start, starting at, we're going to do one cyan terracotta here and here. We're going to do polished andesite, three here, five here. And then, it's going to be some dispensers, but you can use furnaces too. It really does not matter what you make and what, what you pick in this situation. We're going to do a cyan terracotta right here. Uh, I guess we'll do placeholders. And we'll do dispen- mm, not like that. Dispensers. Basically like this. Fix those. We're gonna grab our acacia wood. We're gonna put a block here and a block here. And then as far as I'm concerned, well, first we're gonna have to take some stone. Put stone here and here, I think. There's a stone block visible here, so I take it. It's gonna be visible on both sides, yes. Okay, so after that, as far as I'm concerned, we're just going to fill the rest up with cyan terracotta, except for where the hatches are at the front. Um, I need to understand something here first. Okay, so that's just covered. Um, okay. Just trying to make heads or tails of what I'm actually doing at the moment. So please don't mind me. What we're going to do, if you're not doing an interior, I guess we'll take a block of coal or some black concrete. And we're just going to plug up those two spaces. And with that, I think we're done with... No, wait. No, no, no. I'm missing the very rear. So put two more polished andesite there. And does anything go between those? Yes. We're going to do a wooden trap door. Throw it right here. Close it. Now we're done with layer two, so we're gonna carry on to layer three. And to start layer three, we're gonna finish off the engine. To, ah, wait a minute. You know, what? we're gonna do the remaining layers actually. So make this the make this the remaining layers. Layer. Uh, just note to myself in editing. There's not much more. Uh, the remaining layers uh, part of the video is always subjective. So we're just gonna finish off with the engine deck first off. We're gonna start off with this. <clears throat> so, we're going to put stone slabs on the tops of here, going to grab some rails, two here, two over here, we're going to need button, iron trap, uh, iron pressure plate, gray carpet, so there's going to be a iron pressure plate here and here, two gray carpet, button, button, and then that part's going to be covered up anyway. We're going to grab a wooden button. Put one right here. Over on this side, we're going to start, we're going to just do the antenna, which is three blocks tall. So from right here, we're going to go up one, two, three iron bars. That's going to be your radio antenna. We're going to take our cyan terracotta. We're going to do a row of five here. A row of three here, I think. Well, it's not completely accurate, so we're gonna actually undo that. But we'll put, I guess, one in the center. We're gonna go forward uh, two more with the five layers of, with the five rows of 
Alright. Gonna go for two more. It's a row of five of the Cyan Terracotta. What we're gonna do now. I guess we're gonna put the Cyan Terracotta right here. We're gonna grab our Light Gray Shulker Box. Place it sideways off of here. Um, we're going to take our Dark Oak Fence Gates. Put one here, one here, open them inward toward the turret. Those are going to be our smoke grenade launchers. Put a blank sign here. We're going to need our wooden trap door. So sign here, put a trap door there, grab a stone button and put one there. And I assume the other side is going to be a mimic of it. Actually, actually, I didn't realize that this was going to be on the other side. So we're going to take our polished andesite and we're going to replace this one block here with it. And we're going to do the button. We're going to grab the sign, put the sign, I mean the trap door here, and then put the sign. We're going to need to do our cobblestone blocks. Although I'm pretty sure for the interior it's actually going to be stairs, but we're just going to do cobblestone blocks for now. We're going to take our cobblestone walls, put one on either of those corners. We need our spruce stairs yet again. Put an upside down stair right off the back and then we're going to curve it on either side. And that's going to begin the containment box on the back. Take our gray carpet, put gray carpet in these four locations. Grab our stone button, one in either of those spaces. Grab our wooden trap door. We'll put them here on top of the blocks of coal. Take our dispensers. Placeholder dispenser there. Take our stone slabs, which I do not have on me at the moment, so I'm just gonna rip them off the back here. We're gonna go forward one, two, three top slabs, then two iron trap doors. We're gonna grab another brick slab to throw it at the end for the muzzle break. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna put a iron, a wooden trap door on the top of the muzzle break at the end. We're gonna do a row of four gray carpet here. At the base of the gun, we're gonna do a iron trap door, then a wooden trap door. Then we're gonna grab our daylight sensors. One, two, three. Change them all to the blue-ish color. Put one on either of these corners, change them. Going to do a uh, cobblestone slab, one there. Two stone slabs, two stone slabs. We're going to take our cobblestone stairs and we're going to do it, what? One here, curve here, one, one, one. Pretty sure that's how I have it designed. And then we're going to fill the rest with these blocks. So cobblestone, cobblestone, cobblestone. And then it's going to be dark oak in where the loader's hatch would be. I guess what we'll do is we'll plug up the commander's hatch with a block of coal as well. <coughs> then we'll put a iron trap door on the top of that. Grab our cobblestone uh, wall, put one here, grab our spruce wood fence gates here, open it inward, put one in the front of the uh, fence post thing, cobblestone wall, I am losing it, don't get old, we're going to put a end rod at the end, I don't think we have an ammo box on it, I think it's just as is, so... Then we have to finish off the container on the back of the turret. Let's put a daylight sensor in any of the in both of those two spaces, and we're also going to need a um, spruce wood slab. Throw that right there in the center on the back. And with that, we're done. The no, we're not. I forgot just one thing. One tiny little step. Grab the rail. Throw it right there. And that will finish off the brace on the top of the wood log. <sighs> so now we're done the Tiger 1 and its exterior. If you're not staying for the interior, thank you for coming at all. And I hope to see you again at some other point. But now for those of us that are going to keep the... For those of us that are 
interested in the in uh, interior, let's begin. So to start, I'm going to break into the loader's hatch. We're going to go down two blocks, we're going to have gray shoulder boxes, okay. I think that's an easy enough part to start with, so go in, go down two. I'm going to break across, I'm at least breaking forward to here, breaking down into the floor. We're going to get rid of those coal blocks because I know those aren't needed. We're going to get rid of those blocks because I know we won't need those. We're going to put a bunch of our gray shulker boxes on the floor. <coughs> going to remove these blocks. There's going to be stone blocks here. I think we're going to need to replace that one and that one. I think we'll replace these as well because I think I know the design I did for the turret ring. Uh, I was correct, but I also didn't. All right, no, actually, no, never mind. I got this. I'm good. And then we're going to need that. And then we'll just go back into the new tiger. Break these three blocks. Stair here, stair here. Crafting, I mean not crafting, uh, chest here. Stone wall here, here, and here. We're going to put a stone wall right here. I'm going to break that coal block because that's not necessary anymore. Nether brick slab, put it right here. And now I need to, well I can put another brick stair right there. And now I just have to go see what the layout on the other side is. I don't think I ever put the gunner's position in. How dare I? Um, actually, I'm not even sure if I completely finished making the interior. Now that I look at it, some things don't look right. Um, so what I'm going to have to do then is... Sorry, so the dispenser goes here, and then there's a bunch of iron trapdoors. And then there's a sign here. So what I can do... Is I'm going to head over here, but I'm going to build from... No, I'll get stuck if I go over there. So, we're going to do the dispenser. I'm going to do a placeholder. Iron trapdoors. One, two, three. Put the sign right here. But what I'm going to do is we're going to try to put a nether brick slab right over there. And we're going to make that the gunner's position, because the gunner is supposed to be right in front of the commander. I may have had that in the past and had removed it for some reason. I don't remember what that reason would have been. Couldn't have been a very good one. Um, and then I guess what we'll do is we're going to break this block, open it up, put a placeholder. We're going to put a hopper right here, replace the block break the terracotta and now you have what is kind of like a gun sight and that fixes that up right away. Now what I have to do is I have to come into the driver's compartment. These ladders on our left and right are not completely necessary but I guess we're going to do them. So there's going to be a dispenser there with a switch on it. We're going to do three slabs of stone. We're going to need that. So I guess we'll take care of that part first. So we're going to open these up. We're going to put the ladder here, ladder here. Dispenser, switch, three, uh, three stone slabs. We're going to put the nether brick stair right here. going to be one over there too, I highly assume. I think we actually have an iron bar over there underneath where the machine gun is posted. But we're going to go in here now and take a look from the passenger side. We're going to need a note block, we're going to need a quartz stair, and that's actually a cobblestone wall. And once we're finished with that, I guess we're finished with the tiger. So we're going to close these up, head into here. Note block here, that's going to make our well, part of the radio, and then we're going to do a quartz stair facing like this, and that is going to finish off our radio. Come in here and just replace that iron bar with a cobblestone wall, and now we can just sort of close everything up like that. And with that, we are done the Tiger 1. 
although this is the E variant. Uh, so it's the newer variant of the Tiger. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you all still enjoy the channel as a whole. If there's anything you'd like to see, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or um, if you'd like in the description. I have a link to my Discord. You can always leave a request there where it's also just easier to get to. You can always go leave a uh, request on that uh, platform. You can also go follow me on Facebook or Twitter. I post the videos on those platforms as well. But I don't really have a whole lot to say. I'm getting tired, guys, as you can probably hear in my voice. So I will see you all later. Take it easy, stay safe, God bless, and goodbye.